Hello and welcome to Single Player Showcase. On today's show we are looking at a game called Race the Sun. Uh, this game is currently in beta and it's a procedurally generated game where you need to race towards the sun. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it does remind me a little bit, I can't remember the name of it was, but I think it might have been a Flash game that I used to play uh, during the my IT lessons in secondary school and it was just a case of just getting as far as possible avoiding obstacles either side and getting the highest score possible which is great from great fun to do when you get your friends around you and this kind of follows along the same lines as that um, also reminds me a little bit of Star Fox as well but once you start playing you'll see why it's pretty obvious uh, we're gonna just crack straight on so as I said this is the beta mode so it's not in completely perfect. Um, I found a few bits and pieces but you know these are things that will all be ironed out before uh, the game is released. So let's crack on with the standard mode. This is all there is available. There are um, other things that will be available and um, there is from what I've seen in the footage and I'll post a link to it up as a pretty in-depth in-game world creator uh, which is actually what this game was created with um, but there's only so much I think to be seen at the start. I think there's a, I think there's a lot more that will be out. Obviously, when the game is finally released, but some of the stuff that was shown in the video was really good. I was very impressed by it. But let's not talk about any more about that. Let's actually start playing some Race to Sun. So I've played about twelve sessions or so, um, and so for a start that. Magnet you see on the right wasn't there at the start because I've leveled up by about five levels or so. Um, right, these triangles, or what the hell is a 3D name for a triangle? No, it's not coming to me. Should have done my research. Uh, they just act as uh, points. If you get five in a row, your score will multiply. Obstacles, you can hit them at the side, you can clip your wing. And all that will do will will drop your multiplier. Obviously, if you go head first into it, there will be a very loud explosion. Uh, these green shapes are a uh, ability to give you gives you the ability to jump like so. You can only use one at a time. And there's also these yellow uh, power ups, which when we find one, is this going to be one? No, no. Uh, I've already gone through one or two, and they are. Here we go. There's one of them. It acts as a boost, but it also is kind of the main point of the game. In the distance, you can see the sun, and the sun is slowly starting to come down. And if the sun gets to the bottom, the game is over. So you need to go through those yellow boosts to keep the sun up. I'm not sure about how that works in terms of physics, but it's a game rule. We'll, we'll fly with it. This game overall, it's not what I was expecting. It's a lot, it feels a lot calmer. Um, I think a lot of that is to do with, there's no, there's a little bit of background noise whenever you kind of fly past any of the objects, if you can hear it. But it's not much. Um, and like, there's no sounds of rocket propellers or anything like the ship making a lot of noise. And I'm not saying it's necessarily a bad thing, It's it, it makes the game what it is. I don't know how much of that is just what is here at the moment, if there'll be any more added. But going on the experience that I have at the moment, yeah, it's it's a lot calmer than I thought it was going to be. Um, and it, things start to get a little bit uh, Venom-esque around here, for you Star Fox fans as uh, obstacles start moving left and right and it, it gets a little bit more tense as you get further through obviously the game increases in difficulty like so uh, you can only go left and right there's no barrel rolls or anything like that so before you make the joke or before I have the chance to do it I'll put the NXA on that one and also talking about the, the calming factor like the music as well is very very chilled out um, it does pick up a little bit if here for example as you can see the sun is starting to go down and, and the background is going red and if you get, pick a boost up like that you see the sun starts to go back up again uh, I think this is one of the issues with the beta version so far is that if you go uh, start to get a bit manic now 
if a song gets to that point and it goes red and the music changes, the music doesn't change back if you manage to get the sum back up to a certain point. So I presume that's something that will be changed in due course. There's also another issue I found that if you hit, uh, if you get caught up in one of the explosions, the uh, most of the screen turns white, which will cause you to crash pretty quickly. And I think this is the furthest I've got so far, which I'm astounded with. Because I've not been too bad, I've got to about level 4 or so. But then I find somewhere to crash. And I figured this would be where I would probably crash, because I'm having to talk and play this game. And as you've probably seen in previous videos, talking and playing is not my strongest point. And you're a new one, hello. And that is instant death. I think we did all right there. Uh, there's also obviously uh, leaderboards as well, so you can see your scores and all that kind of good stuff. And I think we'll give this another go, so I can talk of a few other features that the game has. It has a it has a, an online social element to it. And uh, one of the cool things I saw is that you can start playing for a game, and if you crash, you can post a link to one of your friends, and they can carry on from the point that you crashed, and you can keep this relay going on until you it eventually hopefully someone gets to the end of the game and you can post a score to a unique leaderboard for uh, your team which is a really cool aspect i like that uh, this game is also obvious well it's not obviously but it is on green light at the moment so again there will be a link if you like it you can go and give it a thumbs up um, I'm not sure what the release date for this is, but I'm sure I'll be able to find that out by the time this video is put up. Um, this is being played with an Xbox controller at the moment. Um, and it's actually a really cool thing I found out about today. I've never done this before. I only found out about it today. Uh, there is a device or a, a piece of software called Brass Monkey, which you can download on your iPhone. And you can use that as your controller while playing this. And that includes tilt controls, and you can still just be pressing left and right. And it actually works. Uh, there's like no delay, or very, very, very minimal delay between pressing an, an input and the actual whatever you try to do happens on the screen. It works really, really well. And I'm surprised by that, because usually these things don't. Um, although, with that said, the tilt controls don't feel quite as responsive. You kind of have to turn your iPhone on its side to get a full response left or right. Uh, control wise this this feels really good actually. Um, I do wonder, I know I made the joke about it, but something like a barrel roll or something of that nature would potentially give a little bit more control to deal with situations like this or even being able to turn the ship on its side. Although I think it's fixed the way it is so you don't crash your wings into and we're dead so you don't crash your wings into either side of the floor a la like you would in Star Fox obviously our best run today is going to be on that first attempt no doubt so I'm just going to not talk for a bit so you can get an idea of the atmosphere of the game and what's going on with the music as well and really get an appreciation for what's going on
and obviously I died. Um, so yeah, this is Race the Sun. I think it was made in Unity. It looks pretty much like a Unity game, as a lot of games do these days. It's, as I said, it's currently in green lights. So you can go and give it a thumbs up if you like. Um, I don't know if there is a playable version for other people to play. I'm not sure if there is. Again, I'll put all the links in the uh, section below. And if you like, look at this. If you want me to do more stuff like this, give me any sort of feedback, any thumbs up, that sort of stuff would be great. And uh, yeah, I've been Mark Robinson, and until next time.